Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Unity tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you another quick tip or trick, whatever you want to call it, with Unity. So this video is going to be about 10 minutes long. We're going to cover Text Mesh Pro. Um, it's quite in depth, so I'm going to cover the basics of how to set it up, why to use it, how to use it. Um, and also, I'm just going to say now, you should basically use this in every project with UI because it's just better than the default Unity text, and I'll explain. Um, more about it after I've done the intro, so I want to thank my donators on Patreon. Thanks to Paul Robinson, Phil Baum, and Wesley for their five dollar donations this month on Patreon. If anyone else is able to help support and um, would like to do so, then the link is in the description below. So, 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 uh, you don't need anything specific. This is just obviously quickly showing a tip. You can implement this however you like. Um, we're going to keep it simple. So, Text Mesh Pro. Um, it's an add-on that basically replaces uh, some of the Unity UI, and by replaces I mean you should use it instead of, um, in practically every case. And um, the main reason, or the main thing you can replace, is the text elements. So you know, you go uh, UI, you got your canvas, you got your text, right? Um, there it is. You got some text. Let's say you want to make this text bigger. You know, you just drag it bigger. You would pretty much never want to scale it. You always want to just increase font size, right? So font size, you increase it. Oh no, it's bigger than the box and we're out of the box now. You know, that's a problem. Um, you know, we can center it. We can do a few things. We've got here, we can change fonts. Um, don't actually have any other fonts uh, on here right now. But you get the point, you know, we've got some text. Now, one, one thing that's always a problem with this text is when you want to make it gigantic. As you know, as you zoom in, first of all, you lose quality quite quickly. Um, another thing is if you want to make some like really small text um, and or maybe you want to use like text in your actual uh, scene for example as you get small you see you lose quality there's so many problems with it um, one you lose quality two uh, as you add more text you go on to the next line oh wait no you don't you just kind of well okay you do that's if it's the same word but you, you get like let's say you have um like what one of the problems is if your sentence that you're writing, doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo, let's just keep it at the top left. I'm just gonna keep writing a bit. Um, actually, they seem to have changed this, uh, unless I've got a different setting on. But one one problem is text wrapping. Usually, text wrapping isn't a feature. They might have actually just implemented that recently because that is not a case in my project. We're on a twenty eighteen point two point three. That, that's one of the things that it fixes for at least older projects because I, I swear that's new. Some people complain that that wasn't a thing on the old version and it isn't in my own um, project. So I have to use TextMesh Pro. But um, there's also plenty of other styling options and really good ways to have like the same style across multiple UI things without having to remember or like copy components across. So anyway, let's just write some uh, text here. So um, this text, we'll put it in the top half of the screen and we'll just say Dapper Dino. And we'll just say, uh, you know, best fit, center, boom. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to have some Text Mesh Pro. So if you've got it imported, you would go UI and Text Mesh Pro text. Um, if you don't have it imported, uh, I think in the newer versions it actually is imported by default, but if it isn't, go to the Package Manager. So Window, Package Manager. Um, go to All and go find Text Mesh Pro, which is here, and install it. And once you've installed it, it'll be in your project, so you can uh, create some text mesh pro text. As you see here, we've got the different uh, scalings like this. Now, before you should do anything, you should import this essentials thing, um, which sets it up completely. I'm not sure exactly what it does. I just you know read that. Um, and there you go. Uh, I don't want to care about the extras, at least not for now. So if we do the normal thing, uh, so we scale this, make sure to grab the blue parts, um, and we can say dapper dino. And we can go put that to the middle, middle, and we can set the auto spacing. Everything's moved around auto size, and then set the min and the max. So the max to, well, max to 300, max to 300. Okay, so we go the same thing, just different color. So now we're going to go into the benefits of this and why you would use it. So first of all, what I mentioned about the um, going on to the next line with new words, but apparently that's actually um, fixed now anyway. So that's that's one thing that I would have said, but uh, now it doesn't appear to be the same thing. Another is uh, scaling where the UI is. Uh, it's kind of like a child if you look at this. Um, 
and as you see you can't sync this up to the parent part but you can um, if you look on the UI this actually tweaks the font size as well um, if I actually just go back let's put that back to how it was just scale that like that so what we want to do this is plenty of things over here let's say first of all you want to use your own font okay so you go to your fonts and oh there are no fonts you know you've got your this thing which is already default now how the fonts work in this they actually work as textures like on a material so let's say we had a font so if I just like went on the internet and just grabbed a um, one sec, font there's like font websites so we go to I think da font is a pretty good for your website so we'll pick a random one like this one so I'm gonna go download and uh, drag that into our unity project and unzip it uh, if you press show in explorer it's easier because you can actually do all the stuff with it so we're going to extract uh, and we're going to uh, just run this install and actually I think I've just installed that onto my offering system if you just put the uh, actual text um, if we now give that a second delete that we can use this text here uh, as a font okay but the problem is as you go back to the text mesh pro thing you can't actually set the font here because as you see it's a scriptable object it's a type that they've made which we have to implement now there are lots and lots of settings you can do with that but the easiest thing to do is go to window uh, text mesh pro font asset creator and what you do is you select a font so we've got our new one and leave that as far as I'm aware unless you've got specific settings and if you just click generate font atlas and you just wait a second um, it will basically turn your font into an actual texture which it can then use so if you click um, well, I didn't mean to click in that one again but anyway um, once you have generated it you can then so obviously you would re click you click generate if you've changed these settings you can then press like save and you save it somewhere so just whatever leave it as default name and now if you go back here you'll see inside this folder we have a scriptable object which is literally the font so if we go back to text mesh pro and select our new font we're using that font um, I think that was what the font looks like I've not like messed it up have I um, I don't know how to view it now uh oh I <laughs> know it's opening a read this in Visual Studio I'm gonna need Visual Studio open anyway to show you something um, so what I'll do is not look at that <laughs> and we don't need the screen loader scene loader um, so now that we've got this text selected and obviously we can change between the texts now um, you've got all the other things you know bold italics underline you've got more you have got underline strike the thing that puts the line through the middle um, a B so it's a uh, lowercase and then cap all caps so you don't actually have to change your text you can just have it be in all caps um, I don't actually know what that's doing that's capitals SC what could that be doing I know it's putting them all into caps but what's the difference between that and that it's basically just shrinking it I don't know <laughs> maybe it keeps it the same scale but anyway um, you know, you've got plenty of things. Color gradient, you can set color gradients from different corners. Um, basically, there's just loads of styling you can do. Loads. Um, as well as that, there's less limitations. So on here, you're limited to a max size of 300 on the scaling and a min size of, well, zero. Obviously, that doesn't matter. You're never going to have negative size text. If you go to here, the max can be infinite. You know, you've got no max. I mean, as far as I'm aware, there's no, there'll be a number somewhere that's too big. But you get the point. Um, it can go above 300. Um, you've got your alignment like normal there's also this a geometry center which as far as I'm aware doesn't already exist on here there's, there's more scaling options and aligning um, baseline I don't know what half these things are midline cap line I mean that, that's pretty obvious you can actually see by the pictures what they do but I'm gonna set it at the center wrapping you can actually enable and disable if you want it to wrap or not um, and so on as you go down here we get to um, extra settings for margins and stuff which is just like when we use a uh, layout group on like UI you can um, just set the you know set the offset so you might want to go a certain amount of pixels in that's actually what this is it's the offset I knew there was something on here but I didn't see any numbers changing so it was uh, compacted now down here you see the settings so this is for our material now let's say I had let's delete this old text this is the bad text we don't want this anymore we've got the good one 
Now, let's say we want these two to use the same font, but with slightly different settings. So what I can do is I can be on this on this bottom one. Well, I will we'll change the top one. I'll just move these around so I know the top one is the first one. Okay, so if we go over to here, let's say, for example, the color. Um, ah, okay, yeah. So they're both using the same material. So actually, when I change stuff now, they're both going to change. But we'll show how you can uh, separate that in a second. So... Um, what we can do is we can go to our material, which is here. We can, um, sorry, if we go here onto the text, this thing here that's showing at the bottom, just like on a mesh, you would have a material at the bottom. This is a material. So you can actually duplicate it. Um, as far as I'm aware, we can create a material preset. There you go. So this is the default one. Okay. Then what we can do is we can go and edit this, which is fine. So if we are on the top one and we edit it, so let's say we want uh, the color to be you know, red-ish. We've got an outline. Um, maybe the outline, we actually want to uh, give it some thickness. So we've got an outline. You can obviously move the offset. Um, sorry, that's tiling. We don't, the tiling would be useful if you had a um, texture, but offset. Oh, never mind. That's all to do with the uh, that's all to do with the texture, obviously. Um, then on underlay, you can actually tweak the. Let me just enable it. Sorry. Let's go for like pink, and then you can tweak the offset. Where? Wait. What? Never mind. I'm being silly. Um, it's all just to do with tweaking, to be honest. So obviously you can enable, make, make sure to enable things. I keep forgetting to enable them. Um, so you can add bevels. And obviously if you know what bevels are, they're kind of like curves on the edges of things. Like you can actually treat this almost like it's an actual object in your scene. Um, you can make text look 3D with the uh, bevel, which is obviously what it's used for. Um, so I've got some fancy looking text there. And then you've got lighting. Obviously you can tweak lighting. I'm not going to go into that. You can actually have light sources affected as well. Um, glow, enable, you know, let's go for like a pink glow. That's like off the object. Um, the slider goes backwards for some reason. Um, anyway, so we've got some fancy text there. And now what we can do is that we've changed this object here. Um, Sorry, no, we haven't. We can now save this. So create material preset. There it is. Um, and then let's say we made something else. So this is our other thing. And we change it to be like, you know, subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> if I can type subscribe. Uh, and then let's say we, that's the same font, but we want to put our settings on. You can just drag it in here. Or you can drag in the default one. You can make other um, presets of those things. So that's a pretty good use. And then there's not much else to say. Obviously, that's the main thing. You know, create your own, uh, create your own fonts. Put your put your fonts in quickly, though. If I just go into this uh, text up here, for example, um, if you wanted in script to change the text, you could simply let's put a text changer. Um, if you wanted to actually change the text via script in uh, for Text Mesh Pro, you can't use Unity UI text. You have to use um, using unity engine dot um, TMP no sorry text mesh pro separate using TMP pro so text mesh pro and then we just say we want uh, a private uh, text mesh pro U G U I that's the actual um, that's the actual uh, name for that if you actually look up on here uh, text mesh pro UGUI, that's the name of the script. And all we want to say is on the void start, let's say uh, UI text dot text. So it's the same thing there. Uh, set the text equal to uh, thanks for watching. Okay. And just like my previous text video I did, uh, just about how to change color and font and stuff inside the string, you can do that in here as well. Uh, I'm not going to go into that because it's just the same thing. So if I now just uh, press play, uh, that ain't going to work because I didn't get it. <laughs> so just silly mistake. I need to actually say uh, UI text is equal to get component 
text mesh pro GUI. And then we can set it. And there we go. So <laughs> that's a good outro, isn't it? So yeah, if you did like this, obviously go away and use Text Mesh Pro, fiddle with the settings more. I don't know what every single little tweaker does. You know, there's so much with it. That's the that's one of the good things. Uh, so long as you don't get overwhelmed by them, um, it's better because also when you uh, you don't lose quality with the text like you would in the other one. Um, there's more settings. There's more flexibility. There's less limits. You know, the more you can do of it. And it's just better in general. So I hope this video convinced you that it is. I hope you go away and use it. Um, if you haven't already liked and subscribed, it obviously mean a lot. Uh, join the Discord server if you want to speak in there and take part. And apart from that, thanks for watching and goodbye.